Okay, so as you can imagine, these problems are bigger, the system's bigger, so they take more time and more uh, space, more paper. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of writing, a lot of copying, and you want to have some kind of system for writing them. So you, you don't want to just have everything all over the place, you'll never find anything. And you want to be able to get somewhere as you go through these problems. Okay, so we're going to uh, start by eliminating a variable. So what I'm going to do is I notice that these top two equations right here, if I were to add those together, I could eliminate x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recopy those problem, uh, those equations. Now, sometimes it's helpful to do it color coordinated. Usually I give each equation its own color, but let me try this and see if it makes a little bit easier to do it this way. So when we add these equations just as they are, the x's cancel. We get negative 2y and 3y would be 1y, and 3z minus z would be plus 2z equals 9 minus 6 is 3. Okay, hold on to that equation. Now, what we need to do is we need to take a different pair of equations, but we still need to eliminate x. Okay, so I'll use green. I'm going to look at these two equations then. If I were to just multiply this equation by 2, then I could get the x's to eliminate. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to multiply. You can't see the 2. Okay, I'll erase that. But I'm going to multiply this middle equation by 2. Now, you might be saying, well, I wanted to eliminate the y's or the z's or whatever. You, you don't have to use x. That's the one I thought would be easiest, so that's the one I chose. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 2. I'm going to get negative 2x plus 6y minus 2z equals negative 12. Now, I highly recommend you double check and make sure that's doing what you want it to do. Okay, so negative 2x plus 6y minus 2z equals negative 12. Okay, I think that looks good. Then this other equation, the bottom equation, I'm going to just um, copy it down. 2x minus 5y plus 5z equals 17. And then I'm going to add those equations together. These cancel out. I get y plus 3z equals 5. Okay, so if you need to stop and review, make sure that that's making sense to you. Okay, what we've done then is we chose the first two equations, this one and this one. We added them and we got an equation without x right there. Then we took um, the bottom two equations, this one and this one. You have to have a different combination. And we also eliminated x. Now that's really important that you eliminate the same variable. You can't switch and say, okay, I want to eliminate the z. That won't get you any place. It's not wrong, it just won't uh, prove productive. Okay, so I took the bottom two equations. In order for me to eliminate x, I had to multiply by a 2, and then I did that, and it all worked out. So now I have this equation without x. So I have two yz equations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that orange equation, and the green equation. And I'm going to work with those two, just like it's a two by two system, just like we did in 7.1. So the top equation, I'm going to multiply by negative one. You could have chosen the bottom. I'm just choosing the top. The bottom equation, I'm just going to copy it down. So I'm adding these equations together. This is all elimination by addition is what we've been working on here. The y's cancel. I get 1z. 1z equals negative 3 and 5 is 2. And I have solved for z. Yay. <laughs> okay, but remember there are three variables and we have to solve for all three of them. So how do we do this? Well, we go to one of our equations from this system. Um, I'm just going to take the green equation because it's on the bottom. It doesn't really matter if you use the green or the orange, but I'm going to say y plus 
3z equals 5. And then I'm going to substitute my value that I just got for z. It's 2. And then I can solve. So y plus 6 equals 5. I subtract 6. I get y equals negative 1. Great. So now I have z and I have y. Now I have to find x. I pick one of the three original equations. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, because um, it has to work in all three of them. So I'm just going to pick, I think I'll pick the bottom one. It seems the, less, the least cluttered. So let me copy it down. 2x minus 5y plus 5z equals 17. Okay, now we're going to substitute the y and z that we have figured out. 2x minus 5 times negative 1 plus 5 times 2 equals 17. So that comes from the y and the z that we already know. So we get 2x plus 5 plus 10 equals 17. Or 2x plus 15 equals 17. Subtract 15. 2x equals 2. Divide both sides by 2. And we get almost done. x equals 1. Now, if you really wanted to do more work, you could check this in all uh, in the other two equations because you have the ordered triple now. Um, I'm not going to show that. It's not a bad idea to do that, but I feel pretty good because they came out to be integers. Now, that doesn't have to happen. We can have fractions or decimals in the answer, but um, I, I think it's okay. that I, I think the work I've done is okay. So how do I write the answer? I write it as an ordered triple x, which is 1, comma y, which is negative 1, comma z, which is 2. So remember, we're writing the ordered triple x, comma y, comma z. So I'm putting those in, and that is my answer. And it's called an ordered triple, and it's, what, it's the one point that satisfies all three equations. Okay.